Hey guys, so we all like to think the lead crisis in Flint, Michigan was an anomaly and it won't happen again. But that's so not true! Most people don't remember that just 15 years ago, a lead crisis much, much worse happened. And it wasn't in some small town either. It was in Washington DC. And if it can happen in our nation's capital, it can happen anywhere. So let's take a little trip down lead poisoning lane, shall we? Back in 2001, water samples from the DC area showed high levels of lead. The DC Water and Sewer Authority did a fat lot of nothing about this information until late 2002, when the Washington City paper ran an article about a resident whose water tested 18 times higher than the action level. After that media attention, the EPA swung into action and fixed the problem by replacing the pipes. Just kidding, they didn't do anything. Fast forward a year and enter Mark Edwards, the same guy who busted Flint for their high lead levels. He happened to be investigating the spike in leaking pipes in the DC area. Edwards tested for lead in one home's water. The meter could read a value up to 140 parts per billion and the reading went off the meter. So he diluted the original sample down to 10% of its strength and it still went off the meter meaning it was at least 1,250 parts per billion, i.e. the people of DC were drinking hazardous waste. The DC Water Authority did more tests, found the problem was widespread in thousands of homes, and then, yeah, they did nothing. But wait, it gets worse. When Seema Bhatt, a water quality manager at the DC Water Authority, told her superiors and the EPA about the lead levels and warned that aggressive action was needed, she was fired. After the first article appeared, obviously everyone in DC began freaking out. There were public meetings, they turned off public drinking fountains, the US Congress held not one but four oversight hearings. It was all a big uproar. Still, by April 2004, some DC area homes had reached lead levels of 48,000 parts per billion. That's like four times higher than the worst homes in Flint. And still, nothing happened. Now this whole situation is totally fucked up, but at least it explains why so many of our politicians are like ridiculous. Because lead attacks your brain and the water on Capitol Hill was dripping with lead. So you know, that all kind of makes sense. Case in point, you would think that politicians would give a shit about the contamination because they had to drink the water. But when DC asked President George W. Bush to help pay to fix the problem, Bush tried to cut the EPA's budget by almost half a billion dollars and decrease spending on replacing water pipes by 83%. The final bit of bad news, the Washington Post found that DC was not alone. 274 cities in America have reported unsafe lead levels between 2000 and 2004, including in New York, Portland, Detroit, Philadelphia, Seattle, and Boston. But in almost every case, nothing had been done. This story is super duper depressing because it basically shows the people paid to protect us really don't give a shit. Sorry, I don't have any silver lining for you, but I'd love to know what you think. Are you terrified of your government? And do you think that you're gonna get lead poisoning? Because I have already installed my lead filter as mentioned in a previous video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.